horse trams appeared in France during the latter half of the 19th century. By 1876, steam trams appeared in Paris, while the first system to be electrified in France was in 1890 in Clermont-Ferrand. French tramways reached a peak in the early 20th century, when no less than 130 systems were in operation. It's amazing to think that these short four-wheel tram cars were still running in the 1950s. After 56 years of service, the last tram ran on the Courberrière de Fontaine line in August 1952. 35 years after its disappearance, the tram made a comeback in 1987. In the Prefecture of the Côte d'Or, a metric track network was operated by the Compagnie des Tramways Électriques de Dijon, or TED. It was inaugurated in 1895. The urban network originally comprised of four lines. In 1911, the network saw the addition of the Dijon to gevray chambertin suburban line. Unlike other cities that abandoned trams in the 1930s, Dijon modernized its network, adding new sections of line and renewing rolling stock. On route one arrives at La Bourdonnière. The small village to the northeast of Marseille was typical of many outlying tram destinations in France. And this is La Bourdonnière terminus. Number 1570 has just detached its trailer and run round ready to recouple. After a period of uncertainty over the maintenance of Line 68, the main asset of which was this tunnel penetrating the heart of Marseille, in 1965, the decision was taken to retain the route and modernize it. With the condition of the tunnel itself having been declared good, work focused first of all on the renewal of the track. In 1967, the ballasted track within the tunnel was replaced by a concrete slab with a drainage system to clear the surface water. Just as in the UK, private car ownership boomed in the 1960s. With its stops necessarily being away from the curb, trams on Line 68 were the cause of considerable traffic holdups. 